four and fifteen. One and two and three. Oh, and she four. died. Huh? Right. <laughs> How come can die, hun? Hey, my, my, my little little end. End. No. <laughs> Okay, hello, people. <laughs> In the most unnatural <laughs> way. But... Hello, people. Okay, hi, everybody. So, today we are here at 4th SCDF Division because we are going to become SG Secure Responders. Woohoo! Do you know what that is? I have no clue, though. I'm Maybe not we... even supposed to be here, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know why you were chosen to join us? I don't know. I'm, I'm just a designer back in the office. <laughs> you think because he's staying nearby? Yeah. So basically what they do is there's an app and then they'll send you alerts whenever there's an emergency going on. Uh -huh. So responders are people who can go down and provide the help needed. And that's what we are here to learn. The concept is very interesting. Like, knowing that there are people that live near you, right? Uh -huh. Where if there's an emergency, like you fall down or whoever, or, or oh, say your mother true, fall down true, at home, right? True. Then there's somebody to help, right? Like, mm. it's quite cool. Eh? There are causes also to help you deepen your knowledge if you don't have any or if you need a refresher. Yeah. yeah. What are you thinking eh, of the idea? I don't know. Maybe. You don't know anything, yeah? <laughs> because that's legit. I think it helped me from uh, SG Insecure to SG Secure. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to learn CPR. CPR. <laughs> Today we're going to learn CPR. You're so insecure. We're going really. to learn some basic, basic first, aid. first aid. And the most exciting one, I think, uh, was yeah. fire extinguishing. You, do, you have, do you have any experience in this, any of these areas? Oh, I, I had like first aid course at MPCC. Oh, wow. So the <laughs> I don't know, I just got a set for infant CPR. I think that's all. It's five, six years ago, so it kind of <laughs> <laughs> expires, though, so I don't know. Okay, great. So, let's go. Shall we? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Come, follow me. Then <laughs> follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we are at our first activity right now. Uh, we have Lieutenant Victoria here with us. Okay, so the first activity is... Okay, so uh, firstly, I'll teach you guys how to do CPR AED. So uh, basically, uh, CPR AED is to save someone who's suffering from cardiac arrest. So the only time that I've actually encountered an accident, right? I heard a damn loud bang behind me after I crossed the road. Then two cars basically langgar la. So I, I run over to the car, I try to check whether the fellow okay, right? He's just knocked out in, on, on the steering wheel. Then I don't dare to touch him or like help him or move him or whatever because Later Maybe he, he like broken, broken or, yeah, or I break yeah. him more, you know? I think like 30 seconds later, a, a nurse happened to be there, off-duty nurse oh. happened to be there. Then she take over there like, wah, hey, hey. Yeah, <laughs> but it made me feel that useless at that point. Is that why you're here? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Can y'all actually do to the staying alive? Staying yes, alive? actually, yeah. So that's the, thing. correct, that's the bit of uh, how you should do. For CPR is, okay. is it really just learn how to press the person? Uh, okay, it's, it's more than that. La. So we have a set of acronyms for our participants to remember. So what's, what's the acronym? Okay, so acronym is DRSABC. Let's pretend if there's, uh, there's an unconscious body. So first you have to check for danger. You just give a light tap on the shoulder. Little N, little N. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All no right. response. No response. Okay, then we continue with S. S stands for shout for help, which means calling the <laughs> <them laughs> five and asking them to grab an AD for you. So okay. you just shout to any passerby. So help. Then B, we will check for breathing. Chest. You do. But we cannot touch the we cannot touch the person like that. Okay, four, five, one and two and three and four and then follow my pace. Oh shit, he died. Huh? Right. Little uh, end. Little end. Yeah. Okay. I think we really just learn how to press the person. Tap out, tap out. Oh, die. Zero! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got 1%. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's actually quite tiring, eh? Yeah, One minute. Quite tiring. <laughs> so, I'm supposed to do that until the ambulance come. Yeah. Either in the ambulance or the AED itself. So, the life really depends on me. If yes. I'm alone. Yes. Alright, so that's all for the CPR AED. So our, we will proceed to the bandage and first aid, and that is where my colleague, other colleague, will step in for that. Okay. So, Bye. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Bye. Hi, it's me again. 
<laughs> and that is where my colleague, other colleague, will step in for that. Okay, so right now we are going to be doing the what the first aid course, right? So have you all been in any situations where you all need to like first aid something? Oh, I have a scar actually. Oh what? It's 14 stitches from like, so basically I play with my brother, then he pushed me right, then I smashed into the glass cabinet, it shattered and cut my leg right, then my skin was like hanging outside. The whole piece of skin come out. Then I'm like set one at a time, but I'm MPCC. No, but my house got a tiny first aid kit, expired one. So then I take the bandage, then I bandage myself right, then I call a taxi and went to the clinic myself. Then end up my mum come, then the doctor cut my skin and then he say you have to go a &E for stitches. I didn't disinfect, I didn't like, no gauze, no nothing. So when he tried to take out the bandage, then like a bit stuck there, I like... Okay. So basically, what we're learning today is called IFAS Plus. Basically, it's called Improvised First Aid Skill Plus. IFAP? Oh. IFAS. <laughs> Improvised First Aid Plus. <laughs> okay, so let's go and start this course. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> yes, let's go. Okay, so from my understanding, we are about to tie each other up, is it? Yeah. Bandage, not bondage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's say we ne cannot find something similar outside, like like a bandage. Don't right? distract him. Okay. Distract him. Um, <laughs> you bleeding, can uh. do. Yeah. You can actually take a belt and do it. I'll oh, take a belt. Yeah. I got so, one now. Let's try. You you do it. You use your belt on Denise. Oh, okay. Bandage that sounds wrong. Not bondage. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's pinching my skin. <laughs> Bandage, not bondage. So, next stop, we'll move on to the firewalk, and that is where we will learn how to use the fire extinguisher. Are you also the instructor for that one? Or? Uh, <laughs> might be me, you never know. <laughs> you really don't know. Stay yeah, yeah, no. Alright, so basically I already found a new instructor, so let's review. Alright, I'm here to teach you how to start a fire, guys. We were basically about to roll already, right? And then he want to try the outfit, then... Can I tighten it? Oh, this way. No! <laughs> basically how to use a fire extinguisher. We will do the pass method, which is PASS. First of all, pull out the pin. <laughs> you are gonna say pin. Yeah. <laughs> a stands to aim. S is to squeeze the lever. The next S will be to spray. <laughs> All right, aim. Squeeze. Okay, so thanks Chas for today, right, for teaching us everything. Uh, I hope you guys really learned something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like the CPR course for me was the most interesting. Eh? Cause like I keep thinking in my head, like I've gone for this before, I should be able to know what I'm supposed to do, right? By but then when I come here, then we fail, yeah. we all fail, yeah. <laughs> Little yeah. N died three times, eh. <laughs> yeah, a bit sad, yeah. No, I think after today, like I definitely feel more confident, right? And technically if we are all part of this, right, then it will be a better you, you, you place. The chances of survival right? goes yeah, up in high. general. Yeah. Apparently for CPR, right, every minute that you don't do CPR, your chances of survival decreases by 10%. Yeah. So you'll be brain dead at 10 minutes. Oh wow, quick man! <laughs> yeah. And I think if I'm not wrong, ambulance usually takes about 8 minutes to get there. That's why CPR is very important. It's the whole idea that I think I can give back a bit more to my community. Hmm. Yeah, and also like feeling more secure that like, if say <laughs> I'm the one in trouble, you're feeling, yeah, feeling more SG secure, right? <laughs> hey, then you're in, your SG insecurity all set up. Yeah, I'm not feeling insecure anymore. Character development. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like knowing that other people are out there who can help me, I can help right. them. Right. Okay, so thanks 4th SEDF Division for hosting us today. If you're interested in becoming a responder, there are links and information down below. Yep, yeah. and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you.